I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's WMD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion, that's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here with episode 10 of our Mega Man Network Transmission Let's Play, and guys, if you missed last episode, if you look by our dresser there, next to Quick Man, you'll see that there's a man filled with electricity, that is Elec Man, we went to the power plant, we bowed Elec Man, we kicked his butt, and we also got five of each of his battle chips. And today we got a email talking about some sort of a zero count from Higsby in an old abandoned area by the WWW. Because apparently the WWW started on the zero virus before they disbanded. Now he claims that they're no longer together, but that this was a completely abandoned by them. So this is done by somebody else. We'll see. There's been a lot of X WWW. Navi and Navi operators in business with the uh, Zero Virus. Uh, you got Color Man, Elec Man, you know, Fire Man, all of which were all Needle Man 2, all a part of the WWW gen. I'm not sure if Bright Man was. I don't remember Bright Man, honestly, but maybe we did battle by Bright Man. Because this looks like it takes place like right, like in between like Mega Man Battle Network 1, 2, and, and 3, somewhere in that timeline. So I'm not entirely sure. But, anyways, we're going to go to that abandoned area. I'm not sure what's there. But for now, we'll go ahead and go in with the normal armor. Um, just to be safe, we can always swap if there's some sort of element there. Uh, Boulder-wise, I think I'm fine with what we have. Uh, maybe replace tree bombs with something else. What do we have going on in here? Let me take a quick look. We have cannon, just good old-fashioned cannon boys. Um, I don't mind cannon boys so much. We could do that. Get rid of the tree bombs. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and add dash attack just in case we need to uh, get past some gaps. Um... Bomb too. And then everything else should be fine. We got a lot of program advances here. And our, uh, our buster is at max. Our charge on the buster is max. And we even have rapid plus one. So, I mean, we're doing pretty good as far as that goes. Uh, let's take a quick look at the shop real fast. Uh, we're sitting at 10,000 Zenny. Um, not enough to buy any upgrades at the moment. We will do a Zenny run at some point. I will buy a second unlocker to be safe. We will buy. How many half energies do we have? Any? We have two. Any full energies? No, we'll buy one full energy just in case we have to when we get to the boss fight. And let's jump into it, guys. This is through Dex's PC here. There's a passcode that we have to get through. We saw this earlier in the in the game. Um, I would imagine probably around episode two, episode three, somewhere in that range. That there was a door we couldn't get past in this area. Um, the chip selection is not great, but you know it's a chip selection, you know. But look how fast we charge them. And at this point, especially in this particular area, we're gonna be taking things out in one hit. Now I'm not exactly sure which way to go, so we're gonna do a little bit of exploring. Maybe this girl gives us a little bit of insight. Area three. I don't know if area three is where we need to go or not, but we're going to check it out. <clears throat> Again, we're specifically looking for an abandoned area. This is supposedly where the zero virus may have started, and maybe we can find some answers there. That's kind of what we're heading towards. A little bit of zen here. Some sorty boys. This might be it. Yeah, it looks like it. So this is level 4 code. There's a level 5 code too, I believe. I've never seen one of those out here as well. So we get to level 4 code here. We see a special data down below. I kind of want to get that. So this is area two, right? or area three. This is the deepest part of the net. The viruses are stronger in this area. Want to take a shortcut, make a shortcut to this place. Oh yeah, please do. Oh cool, so we have a shortcut now. Right from your home. Okay, right off. Oh, we missed some other boys. He does some freaking damage, man. Oh boy, does he do damage. I was not quite expecting that much damage. We have this. So we're good for now. It's Proto Man. Hold on. Let's talk to Proto Man. Hmm. Proto Man. Chad, is that you? <laughs> Land. All right. If you're here, that must mean zero account is up ahead. Hey, Chad, you came all this way. Why don't you go with us? I don't care about that reward anymore. Make him miss. You want to slow me down? Hold me back? Whatever. You better go home. What, Chad? You jerk. I'm telling you, just go home. Come on, Proto Man. Time's wasting. Yes, sir. <laughs> They're gone. Bah, the snob. Mega Man, let's go too. Well, we're gonna go down here first. 
We're gonna explore just a little bit. We have a lot to explore, I think, in this area. The internet is up ahead. What? The quarter under here? Down there is the data graveyard where trash data is processed. Interesting. This is the internet. Kids aren't allowed here. Spray them. Okay, so we can't get to the internet. What's down here? We called it the graveyard. Oh, boy. Oh, we'll just we'll spray them. <clears throat> well, my question is, how the hell do we get to, uh, to that piece of data that was over here? There must be a teleporter or something over there. Uh, we'll worry about that another time. So we can go up or around. I kind of want to go under first. Cause I think that be yeah, there's a data down here and it's a link code. Okay, so we need a code for that. So here we go, this is going to be where the zero count is, or area one. <clears throat> Just like Higsby said, the area is really run down. Well, this place is written in a really weird ancient language. So this is the old area, huh? Looks like I'm up normal. Maybe somebody take, uh, made this place look old. The guy who's using the zero virus, if it's him, then there may be some traps. Yeah, let's be careful. <clears throat> This place looks pretty cool though. Is that a fire sword boy? Oh, that's a big fire boy. So far we see uh, fire virus, maybe we should put that fire armor. There's a blue thing up there. We got some swords here. I actually think I remember with a boss in this area. I think it's Sword Man. He reminded me of Alpha, um, Alpha, Mega Man, uh, Mega Man. Um, Magnet Warrior Alpha from Yu Gi Oh! That's what he kind of reminded me of. HP Memory Nice. Able to get up there a different way, or should I double jump? We'll wait. Oh, we'll just do this. I'm starting to think maybe. I don't know. It looks like there's probably another way. See, so you have to. You guys dash jump for that? Another HP memory, very cool. Oh, it's war ahead. This is right now. Looks like you literally can't break the floor with your buster. Damn, they are strong as hell too. Crap. 
You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, you know? What if we come back to get the datas later? Um, let's go ahead and use this real quick. So we have three double jumps left. Um, we might need some dashy boys for this. Um, wide swords we'll use, that's fine. Excuse me. So now we're in area two. So nervous, guy. Oh, <laughs> so I jumped down on spikes, anyways. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, we slide right into it. No, we're good. Oh no. Spiky boys here. Okay, at least they're not one hit kills. They used to be. They do a lot of damage though. Mm. I'm more double jumps. And we have three of them. We're definitely gonna have to come back at some point and get all the data because I'm not sure what's what, where's where, how what. Aqua Sword Boy. Certainly need some more Aqua Swords. Alright, hopefully we have some Dashy Boys here. Nope. Um. I can't answer good, that's good. I don't think I have a way of getting there. Well, I can use double jumps. I clicked it, but I clicked the wrong button. I clicked triangle instead of square. And that's my bad. The question is how the hell am I supposed to get back? Like that. I have no more double jumps left though. Oh, but I don't need those for anything. Dash, there's the dashers. Um. Oh, play. Nice. This would appear to be a good place to get a lot of swords, which is really good because we need those for promo advances. I hate this thing so much. 
so much. We just got destroyed for no reason. Oh. <laughs> I shot first to ask questions later. Oh, we really damaged. What happened? I got really blew it. Chad, what happened? I wasn't careful enough since it's such an old area, but that Navi. Yeah, its battle capa capabilities are upgraded to an unusual level. There and during the battle, Proto Man's process suddenly slowed down. Alright, it looks that way. Only way I could could have been defeated like this. Uh, you gotta check Proto Man out now. Proto Man Jack out. So it looks like Proto Man got affected with the Zero Virus. But we were affected by it too, so hopefully we won't get fucked up by it. Strong, customized, automatic Navi guarding the Zero Virus secret. Alright, so we're getting ready to battle the, uh, Navi in this area. Definitely here. Oh, we have an unlocked air, uh, thing over here. An HP memory. A lot of HP memories in this area. I'm not mad at that. Uh, we're not at the highest of HP, though. We'll see how things go. Um, we can use this, though, if we need to, which we will. Um, we have this, which is good. And no program advances, it appears. Which is unfortunate. Wait for our gaze to fill up a little bit. I'm gonna take a look at some cocoa. Both gauges, really, our MP gauge and our custom gauge. Pull my phone out real fast. Let's see what's going on here. This is my track, though. Do -do 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 -do. Um. <clears throat> I kind of want to wait for a custom gauge to fill up too, but like. Like, Ice Slash is really strong, right? It's 100 damage per shot. This thing probably has like 800 HP, 700 HP, something in that range. Five of these shots will take him down to, you know, almost death. But a Program Advance will be really strong too. I don't know what he does though, so we're gonna go ahead and jump in now. So by the time we get this battle started, and kind of film out a little bit, our gauge will be filled. So we'll see what we can do here. So it looks like it is Sword Man. Come and see if you can defeat my sword. Kind of reminds me of Alpha Man, uh, Magnet, Magnet Warrior Alpha, but not quite. Hey, more chumps, who are you? You're the one who beat Proto Man. They call me Sword Man. I'm here to slice and dice anyone foolish enough to try and enter here. My sword will slice you into an electronic ribbons. Why are you all doing this? I don't eat. I don't have time to chat with fools such as yourself. On guard. Here we go. Jumps up and jumps down. Does a good amount of damage, but he doesn't have a shield of any. I guess he's not shield man, right? Okay, I need to pop a sub chip real fast. Um, let's go full energy. Let's go ahead and pop this. So do we have a program advance? We have roll, that's always good. Um, no program advance, unfortunately. But that's okay, we have roll, we have this, we have needle man. Should be good, excuse me. You have to jump, I think, when he's about to jump down, maybe? We got him, so we beat sword man. It wasn't easy though, we did have to use a sub chip that cost 5,000 zenny, but uh, we beat him, that's all that really matters. Whew, I can't believe we beat him. Yeah, he was pretty tough, huh? What is it? Look what I found mixed in with a piece of Swordman's data. The link codex. Oh, so that's where, uh, shoot, that was an area three, right? The link, is that what he was guarding? This might be a passcode for the broken link to the zero account. Great, okay, let's get out of this area and check out the broken link. So let me take... So we're going to open up our maps. And we're going to take a look at that area because there's a lot of stuff we missed out on. And I want to go back and grab all the stuff we missed. A so sword area, or not a sword area, it's called old area. One and two. Okay. So there's two HP memories in the first area. I'm pretty sure we already got those. One to the very that one. Uh, this one you jump down. We may have not got the one begin. So Swordman's uh, figure, by the way, is by our bookshelf. It looks pretty cool. All right, so let's go to map real fast. All right, so now we can go through here. Global. So we have two options there when we go here, dead or global. Hey, 
And we also need to check out Global Area 3, don't we? Uh, Global Area 3... So, okay. So if we go all the way down there, all the way down here, I see. I see. I see. There is a zero data down there. Okay. It looks like we can get to it now, but... I don't know what zero data is supposed to be. Is that like what we're looking for? <laughs> like, are we just gonna beat the game doing that? You see this data right here? That's the zero data. Try it out real quick, why not? There's also an HP memory down there as well. That we didn't get. Uh, this is why it's stupid. Big bulb. Oh, because this thing is moving. Huh, what's this? It looks like a source file. What kind of sauce? Tabasco sauce? Land, I said source. It's program data before it starts functioning. I know that, so what's the source about? Sorry, some sort of specialized program. I can't figure it out. Okay, so that's something I guess we won't have to worry about yet. But it's called zero data, so it's probably something very important to the story. Um, we are going to go ahead and jack out, though. Because we're probably going to need these uh, double jump chips, even though we only used one. That's cool, we got an HP memory stuff out of that, so that's the only thing that's missing there. Um, so let's go ahead and X out of that. We'll now go back to where we were just at. And we're gonna go to Global. And we're gonna go back into Swordman's area, the old area. I kinda wanna farm up the uh, sword chips there too at some point. Might do that today, because we have a lot of extra time left. How much any do we have? 12,000? That's not bad. Oh, I forgot about this thing. Honestly, forgot about that thing. I want to grab the Zenny though real quick. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go this way, right? Linux code, I'm pretty, pretty sure is the thing right underneath this is where we're supposed to go for the next area. Um, we're not gonna worry about that just yet. Okay, so the first area, uh, the first thing, the fir oh god, the first uh, item is it's area two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've gotten both things in this area, 100%. Here too. 
I wonder if they have a chance of dropping fire blows as well. I'm not sure. And these are worth the game because you can get flame sword, swords, aqua oil, baton too. Oh, that's just, those are just enemies. Okay, let's just save the game. This just can be on this map. Okay, fair enough. See where fireman or the fireman, but the fire sword boy's at. This is where Data's at, I believe. Oh, we missed that on the chip though. Yep. So we certainly got both the Datas in this area. So now let's go to the area two. All right, so. Flame Sword, Aqua Sword, and Swords are here. No Elix Sword boys though. I'm not even sure we get Elix Swords, but... Okay. There are a ton of things here. Um, four technically. Five if you count the big energy at the end. And we even got the HP memory at the end for sure. I don't remember if we got everything down there or not. We got that one for sure. Okay, so we'll try those down there. We need dash attack for that, though. No dash attack today. I guess we don't need dash attack. We can use double dash attack. Before. Now, up here was one of them. We already got this one. One down there, so we missed that one for sure. Alright, so we got the first one, but there's a second one apparently. It's a power up, nice. Okay, so we got a power up. Always happy to see those. And that should be the last thing we needed here. But I think we want to farm up some swords. Um, what would be the easiest way to do that? I want aqua swords. Because they cost a thousand zenny. It would be faster to just grind zenny. Probably. Because it's like the only aqua sword I know of. Alright, so if I backtrack. Here's the dash attack, so we need more. Yeah, we don't want to go down that way. Oh. Died to that for a reason. Alright, that's alright. If we can run back forth, we can farm fire swords and aqua swords. At least I can see how many fire swords we have. Now. I think 10 is probably the maximum. But I don't know for certain. If 
fire sword out of here and then just kind of run back and forth. We'll also get these bomb chips too, so that's not a bad thing. Fire sword, eight. Some more Zenny. I'm not mad at getting Zenny. That's for damn sure. Nine fire swords. time besides that one. Oh, we're at 10. Is that the magical number? We'll find out here shortly. No Aquasaurs though. Ten is the magical number. I was hoping to find the uh, Aquasaur there. There's an Aquasaur. Now I'm curious to know if just going back to this bomb boy is enough to respawn. Doesn't it? Well, the can is back. Sword blazing, right? So I have to go back all the way to the fire boy. Sword. So I'm kind of just burning chips. These aqua swords are pretty rare to drop, huh? We only have is that seven or one? I can't tell. It's just one. So what does it drop then? If it does drop Aquasaur? Because it dropped a chip. Unless you already use an Aquasaur, I guess we'll see. Oh no! Well, who will we? Freaking a! All right. Well, the best way of telling is if I go here to folder. So we only have one more aqua sword, really? So what does it drop? Just regular swords? We might be just be better off just farm uh, not farm but uh, farming Zenny. We'll try though, we'll try. To get ten though we would need nine thousand Zenny, which we do have.
there's no one. Just there. I'm so annoyed by this. Hit sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. Why not? So inconsistent. It's giving me wide sword chips. Okay, let's just jack out there. We already have the maximum white we can get, so jack out. Okay, so we've been recording for about 30 minutes. Um... Let me go to the shop. That one locker left. We got a full set of them. There we go. Um, Alec blades. We have two, huh? Berries are good too. Yeah, we can only buy five of those. Okay. So let me do something real fast. I want to add barrier to our list. This barrier is pretty good. So we have max amount of fire swords, max amount of elec blades. We need elec swords though. We only have two. We need to get ten of those. Um, let's see. Let's get rid of. We really only need dash attacks when we're doing, uh, we're going through stages. We're not going to be going through a stage right now. We're going to be doing something else. But, uh, let me, color ball, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Alec man, call storm clouds to shoot off lightning. Guts man, ice man, needle cannon. Sonic Boy, huh? You only got one of those? I mean, Guts Punch ain't bad, it's 100 damage. Sure. Okay, so now let's go back to our folder. Um, we're gonna be facing Sword Man, I think. And I'm trying to bid on what would be the best course of action here. Probably Ice Slasher. Okay. Yeah, 700 HP, okay. Let's see what we can do. Same plan as usual. Um, we'll try to get four chips, see where we're at, and then go from there. Um, okay. Okay, so jumping right before it crashes down is just do the trick. How do you like the sword, jerk? So there's one chip. So we're able to beat him. He's not too hard. Um, 
Ice Slasher again takes out 500 to 700 health. Ice Slasher is quickly becoming my favorite chip right now. Um, I just wish we could have more than five. If we could have more than five, like it would be so much easier because like if we consistently, like if we had ten of them, we could consistently do like a thousand damage, right? With it, but that's I guess maybe too too strong. Once we get like I said, like M cannons, we'll be able to do that. Cause I think M cannons do 120 damage, 100 damage, one or the other. Okay, so here we go. Ice Slasher, we have Elec Blade, Long Sword, Invisibility. No chip. Oh no, there is a chip this time. Okay, that was probably not like a high quality round for us. Um, we kept doing that same move over and over again. I wasn't expecting it. it just kept slashing us with the swords. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to the map. Do it again. So we need two more chips and then we'll see where we're standing at uh, with Swordman here. record with him is an 8. It's not bad. That might be a Navi chip. We at least have to get one Navi chip. I mean, we don't have to get a full place. I like in the full play sets of them. Because I feel like a sense of accomplishment for doing it. But we technically just need one. Because we need one of every chip if we want to face the secret boss, which we do and we will. Um, the secret boss, of course, being base. I think there's still Color Man chips we need too. I don't know if we got those yet or not. The Color Man uh, Navi chip, we got a full set of those. So if we have time after we do these, these, wow, after we do this, we'll uh, maybe go after some Color Man chips if we don't have them. And if we do, maybe we'll try our hands at Quick Man again. We haven't battled Quick Man in a while. I just remember him being a pain in the butt and I just didn't want to do it. <laughs> but we have to do it eventually, so no time like the mother effing present. That's four, right? So we'll take a look and see where we're at now. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. Using Ice Slashers then use our Buster. Actually, using our Buster in general might just be easier to avoid everything. I might do the next battle with just our Buster. I'm not sure how much damage our Buster does. I'm going to assume it does anywhere between 80 to 100 damage. Fully charged. Alright, so let me take a look at our folder real fast. So, I don't know what the other one's called. I'm assuming the, the uh, Navi is called Storm of I just want to see if we even have one to begin with. Before we make this alphabetical order, we have four Sonic Blades and one Swordman. Okay, at least we got one Swordman. Uh, so let's go alphabet. Okay. So again, we'll do we'll do five more and see where we're at. I'm out of curiosity, we've done a nine. Okay. All right, we're gonna try just the Buster this round to see if. Avoid his attacks are a lot easier and just doing more damage this way. Um, I don't know if be a quick, as, as quick as doing the Ice Slasher damage, but we'll see how things go. Oh, he does a different attack. Yo, Buster is easy as hell on this. Now, I want to see if that was an S rank, because that was really strong.
Our bus does so much damage now. I should have counted to see how many buses it took. To see how much damage we actually do with our buster. I'll do that here in this next battle. Alright, so if we go to front, I'm just curious. Um, we're now in alphabetical order, so if we go down to Swordman, I forgot that you can do this till now. Uh, we have two, so yeah, that was a really strong battle for us. Okay. So Buster's the way to go against Swordman. Yeah, that was an S-rank. We've S-ranked almost everybody, huh? We haven't S-ranked yet against Quickman or Color Man. Okay, good to know. Excuse me. Alright. Barrier actually might be useful. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, three more after this one. See where we're at. We're aiming to do as best as, as, best as we can because we only have one more to go on his bonus chip. So if we can keep getting like S ranks and, and you know ten ranks, we can uh, maybe get this uh, Navi chip a lot easier, faster. All right, so we're gonna do three more. Oh, I forgot to count my how many buses are there. We'll do that. That's really fun. Right. So next battle, we're gonna try to count the amount of buses it takes. Maybe Buster on Colorman will be easier too. Hmm. For the shot. I'm assuming our buster does 100 damage. I don't actually know yet. So 700. So it would take 7 shots to beat him if our buster did 700. It would take 8. Hmm. It would take 8. It would take 9, I think, to beat him if it was only 80 damage. Yeah. Because it would be 81. Da -da -da. Yeah. Alright, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Does our attack does 90 damage? So I'm trying to think, so he has 700 health, right? So if it took 8 shots, 8 goes into 70 9 times, because 8 times 9 is 72. So it would have to be 90 damage. Okay, so that's good to know. Alright, so we're going to get 2 more chips and see where we're at. I still don't know how we're going to be quick, man. Is our Buster the best uh, route against quick, man? Probably not. We'll see, though. Sorry, one more after this and we'll see where we're at.
So that was that. That may have been like an eight rank or a nine rank, but we'll go ahead and uh, check to see where we're at on the chips. If we are done, we'll try Color Man. Um, if we need Color Man, we'll look and see. If not, we'll try Quick Man out and uh, we'll go from there. So if we go to folder, oops, wrong thing. Folder pack. Um, okay, Sword Man is five out of five. I forget what the other thing was called. Was it called? I'll know it when I see it. Crap. Uh, double jump to the dub. It was an iron body, was it? No. Sonic Blade. Okay, so we need one more of those. Um, so this time we'll slow it down just a little bit. Take maybe a little bit of additional damage and see if we can't get it. Okay, here we go. Um, I don't worry about taking anything. Hit me, sword daddy. Hit me! Hit me! Sword Daddy, hit me! I feel like, I feel like we're finding Yasuo right now. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so let's see if that was the uh, Sonic... Was it called Sonic Blade? See, that was the last Sonic Blade we needed. And then, uh, we'll double check Color Man, see where we're at there. And, uh, go from there. We only got a few minutes left anyways, but... Try to optimize the amount of time we have as much as possible. Yep, Sonic Blade we're finished with, so now we need to check Color Man. I know we have all these, uh, all the bonus ships that he has, but Color Man, okay, one out of one. So let's jump into a battle real quick. Let's see if, uh, Buster is the way to go against him. You, we'll grab the chips just in case it's not, but... Okay, I just gotta learn how to avoid that. And I have avoided it in the past. I always have problems avoiding it. Okay, that definitely could have been better for us. But it wasn't bad. I'm not even going to check to see if we got the chip we needed. I'm going to go straight into a battle here. We'll collect three more chips and see where we're at. Three, four. I'm sure that was not an S rank though. That I will check. No, it's right at nine still. Not even a ten, so... Maybe use... Uh, I guess we get hit too much. Okay, okay. If we see Barrier Invincibility, we'll grab him. Okay, perfect. Alright, that may have been an S rank. And quite honestly, I might make Barrier my default chip for this fight. To avoid taking damage. 
games, I'll help our brain. So let me go barrier. Let's see if that was a t uh, an S rank or not. It should have been. That was a pretty good run. I thought, anyways. It was. Okay, so we definitely got a chip out of that one. So we'll grab two more. Let's see where, we see where we're at. Excuse me. Under it, I should say. It doesn't matter, we still got. Um, we didn't get hit at all, so that's good. So that was what, three? So two more? That was a little sloppy on my part, but we still got him. Uh, one more, and then we'll see where we're at. We got hit once there, so let's take a look and see how many we got. We have roughly about a minute and a half left. I think he's about an hour. But if we're at like four, we'll go ahead and try to get another one. If not, then we'll just call and we'll get the rest of them later. No rush. We'll have extra time in other episodes, I'm sure. Alright, so if we go down to Color Man, we're five out of five. So we actually did complete it. Excellent. So we got a lot accomplished today. We did the old area, we got Swordman uh, beaten, we got all his chips collected, we got all of Color Man's chips collected now. The only one of the navvies that we've battled so far that we don't have collected, um, both of their chips at 5 out of 5, will be Quick Man. He's only got 500 HP, but I'm going to have to try to uh, fiddle with him a little bit because he's kind of tough to battle against. Um, we'll figure that all out. And until next time, guys, I am the Maverick Daniels, been your for a peace, and one love. Bang!